You know, we take being close to D.C. for granted. Thanks for joining us tonight at WNER 2 News at 7. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. But these are our heroes. And getting to the nation's capital to see the monuments to honor them is, well, it's not always easy unless they get a spot on an honor flight. WMER 2 News is proud to be your voice for veterans. And WMER 2 News' Don Harrison was there when our heroes flew into BWI. Under blue skies and an arch of water, some of the most prized Americans our veterans flew into BWI. This is an honor flight. American Airlines flies veterans around the country to Washington, D.C. to see the military memorials. American Airlines just put this plane into their fleet three weeks ago. The airline is celebrating the 250,000 veterans that have made this flight. <laughs> Fellow veterans, family, friends, and those that just wanted to say thanks for your service came by to show their appreciation. Of the free because of the brave. Roger Coble was on the plane and was a radar mechanic in Korea. When he landed, it was a whole new world to him. First thing I saw was starving little children, and it was uh, a culture shock. It hit me hard. He was overwhelmed with emotion, mostly humility. Well, it makes you want to cry for everything that happens in the world. These veterans have done their service decades ago and been thanked endlessly. There was even some Medal of Honor winners on board. Well, I wasn't supposed to be alive. Mike Fitzmorris served in Vietnam. He is a Medal of Honor recipient, and he casually explains what he did to deserve that honor. I was on K-Sign, and they had a sap back, and I covered a grenade they threw in the bunker. That's an easy way to say he jumped on a grenade to save all his buddies. He says this celebration is all a part of the military family. The military is a brotherhood no matter which branch of the service. You're, you're all family, so to speak. No matter which war you was in or peacetime. They will be joined Tuesday in Washington by other veterans and dignitaries for an event at the World War II Memorial. It, no matter what our faults are, this is the best country in the world. At BWI, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News. That's something. You know, they're.